Well, we're back out in the van today and we've come to an absolutely awesome location, which is about 20 minutes away from where we are. And it's a place called Rother Valley Country Park. And there's loads of stuff to do here from paddle boarding to sailing boats, nice bike rides and stuff. So we're gonna have a walk around, check it out, and I'll show you all the things that you can do here at Rother Valley. Cheers. So what we're doing now is we're taking a walk down to the activity centre and in the summertime what they do is they put like a massive inflatable assault course uh, on one of the lakes and it looks absolutely unreal. Me and the girls actually did one at a place near Mablethorpe and I'll uh, show you some clips of that uh, straight after this but yeah in the summertime there's a massive inflatable uh, assault course down here that the kids can go on and in turn adults as well. of other things as well to mention about Rother Valley uh, so not only is it you know a few massive lakes all together um, and you know you can do water sports and things like that there's also a, a really good 18-0 um, golf course literally smack next door uh, nice wide open fairways for people like me that are not really that good at golf and don't really like losing the, uh, the balls <laughs> and just beyond that as well, there is a campsite. We've not actually stayed at the campsite yet, but we are planning to soon, uh, called Waleswood. And it's got nothing but good reviews. And I can only imagine that the views from the campsite, because they're further up the hill, down onto the lakes, would be quite spectacular as well. So uh, a video of that campsite will be coming <laughs> in the next few months. And this is also the lake where in the summertime, they put the, um, the sort of big inflatable assault course on as well and it, it looks absolutely epic looks like at the minute they're doing some building works and what you can see just down there that's the clubhouse and it looks like they're doing some renovation work on it but you go down there you get into all the gear i believe all the gear is provided uh on your booking and uh, and you go out and you have a good time on the water doing all this vlogging and now I've got to catch up to Carly because she's left me behind. <laughs> Wait for me! Getting the steps in ready for a big wedding. What? Can't believe I'm getting married this year. That's absolutely barking mad. Who would have thought that I'd be getting married this year? <sighs> Glad I want bike. <laughs> really nice place though down here. Like, fully recommend it. Like I say, it's on our doorstep pretty much 20 minutes away. It's not really. And uh, we like to come down here in the summertime as well. We've not actually paddleboarded down here yet, but um, today I'm going to be inquiring about, you know, launch fees, where launch points and that, etc. as well. So stay tuned and you'll see some, uh, hopefully some paddleboarding videos when we go, uh, when we come back here in the summer. <laughs> following on as well from a video that we did other week today is another perfect example day on why we should get a dog the amount of dog uh, walkers that are here at Mother Valley is absolutely incredible everybody comes here to walk the dogs and stuff 
and I actually phoned up Carly's sister earlier uh, to see if we could go through and pick up her two dogs to fetch them. But they've been out on a long walk this morning with uh, with her husband, so uh, they were knackered, bless them. They didn't want to come with us. But I loved it here as well. Our Ronnie and our Reg. <laughs> Said it right this time. <laughs> We can hear loads of engines going off in the distance uh, so we think there's either going to be like some jet skis on one of the lakes or yeah, so. they're sort of remote controlled boats sounds pretty loud so we're going to go and check it out and see what's going on see if we can have a blast on somebody's jet ski a <laughs> <Yeah>, right laugh <laughs> Something else you can also do at Rother Valley, uh, which is quite popular for, is mountain biking. And in the wood blocks, uh, just to my right, uh, you, you see loads of them. Downhill mountain bikers. Uh, looks really good, really fun. Not really my cup of tea, mine, because I'd end up falling off, breaking my neck. Kyle would be going mad. Just have to do all work. <laughs> yeah, there's loads, loads of mountain bikers up there, and uh, when we get further round on walk, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can snap some shots, just to show you all. Another cool thing that they've got down here is a uh, like a big playing area park thing for the kids, and our girls absolutely love it. Uh, but they've also got like a miniature train that'll take you from one end of the lake to the other and it's like all open, it's like a little miniature type thing, you sit on it and it'll ride you down, you know, sit licking your ice creams, your ice lollies and stuff and soaking up the sun. It's really fun. If you've got small kids, I'm sure they'd absolutely love it. I don't know if you can hear it, but those engines are so loud uh, and waves that are coming up are massive, so we think it is jet skis that's on there. It looks so fun. We're going to go and check it out. That looks absolutely ace. Babes, can we get one? Please. Please. That looks awesome. Oh, ultimatum. A jet ski or a dog? Let me know what you think. Bang your opinion in the comment section below. Jet ski or a dog? Oh, I'm torn. <laughs> I am torn. So how loud they are. See if we can get down a bit closer to the lake and get a better shot of these lads on uh, lads and lasses on uh, on the jet skis. So loud. and how cold that water is, this is ice from that lake, that's how cold it is today and there are jet skiing on it, I hope they're wrapped up warm so when we set off on this walk I said to Carly, oh 
it's all like a proper path all the way around Alt Lakes and stuff. We'll not need as wellies on, we'll not need as walking boots on. It's all nice, it's just a normal path. And we couldn't have been any further from truth. As trainers are knackered. Paths absolutely gopping, wet through, muddy, bad, bad choice. We'll know for next time. Me and my good ideas. <laughs> Something else to point out as well here at, at uh, Rother Valley is there's a track that we're walking on now and that runs sort of the, the full length of both lakes and in the summertime they open the, the main gates so you can drive your van, your car, whatever vehicle you're in actually on to these sort of grass verges behind me and you can park up there, you can have picnics there I'll try and find a photo and put it in after this uh, clip of uh, a time when we've come and we've had a picnic bang next to the lake. Girls absolutely love it. You know, they run off, feed the ducks and stuff. And yeah, it's just great. I think they close it during the winter months, uh, purely because the ground's wet. You know, if you come on in your vehicle, you're gonna ruin the grass, plus you're gonna get stuck, which then means that somebody's gonna have to come and help you out, etc. So uh, yeah, they close it during the winter months. But during the summer it's open uh, and you can drive on, park, bang next to the water. I mean, who, would, who doesn't love that? You know, if you've got a van, that's why we bought a van, yeah? Just to, uh, <laughs> to have days like this and it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, this is one of the gates I was talking about then. So you can drive all the way down here. They're locking up these gates in the summer and then you can drive van, your car, whatever, down onto that big field over there, we bang next to the lake and uh, have a nice picnic or play games, do whatever, you know, if you've got small kids I'm sure they'd love it, our kids certainly do. those train tracks that I was telling you about for the miniature train that will take you from one end of the lake to the other. It's clearly not been used for a while I'm guessing because of Covid. But it's really fun if you want to just get a quick lift back to the uh, sort of main um, area for the lake where the cafe and stuff is. So we're like three quarters of the way out late now. We're just heading towards like the sort of main area where the cafe and stuff is. We have a nice salad for his lunch because tonight we are out for a big Brazilian feed. And we're looking forward to it, Spadge, aren't we? We are. Can't wait. But we need a bit of something in us now before we head back home, showered and changed. And then we're going out for Brazilian. Get in. Check left and right, make sure there's no trains coming. Get off the tracks! <laughs> train station where you catch that train from. So this is down by the main cafe area, uh, Rother Valley 
park where the car park is and getting a little train here and it'll take you all the way up to the top end of the lake on these tracks. one thing they're not short on at Rother Valley and that's benches and places to sit and enjoy the view. The car park's even equipped with some electrical charging points so if you've got an electrical vehicle you can come and charge it here and it's free until the 31st of the 3rd 2020. <laughs> Bit out of date. If you've got a DeLorean you're alright. So this map shows you all the routes that you can take around Rother Valley. Looks like we've just done the green route and the Lammas assistant will point that out to you right now. Which is easy. Five kilometres flat family route. But as you can see there's multiple different routes you can take. Ours was 5k. Still this one next. <laughs> the black advanced one is only a k but it's uh, it looks like it's up and down. I think this is more aimed towards those on mountain bikes and these are like the sort of routes that you can take. This is just a bit of information about things that you can do and, and hire out. You can even hire electric family bikes, uh, family trailer bikes, normal bikes, etc. And uh, there's all the stuff for it. I'm sure they've got a website, check it out. So we're just at the calf. Carla's just got herself a nice cup of tea and I've ordered a cheeseburger. Word to the wise, if you are gonna come, try and get early because half of the stuff that they normally sell, they're sold out of. So it's clearly been a busy day for Rother Valley's cafe. Uh, and we've come quite late in the day. So all the dog walkers, mountain bikers, sailors, jet skiers, they've all been already in there and wiped them out of the stock. So we've got some food, got a brew, 5k walk round uh, Rother Valley Lake, completed it. I'm just going to go back to the van, have a bite to eat, chill out for a bit. And then uh, home time, showered, changed, out tonight. It's been absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend coming here, you know, if you're from sort of Yorkshire, Derbyshire way. It's not too far away and there's loads to do, literally. You could come quite early in morning in summer and uh, another really good family day out. On a scale from one to 10, how hot is it with that diesel heater running? Red hot. Red hot? Yeah. 
once it's set on. Press up. Oh, currently on 24 degrees set at 30. And it uses hardly any power. We're on 1.1. A couple of new things I got for the van last week. These, a pack of four for 12 quid off Amazon. Got the idea from Col at Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures. Uh, if you've not heard of his channel, then I don't know what kind of rock you've been living under. Uh, but Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures, go check him out. Uh, Cole's been really sound, he's actually helping me along with my channel, giving me feedback on how I make these videos and stuff. So uh, thank you very much to Cole, Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures, go check him out. But these are a real handy bit, a kit, you know, I've got my backpack on him. Me and Carl is going to hang his coats up when we're done and they fold out when in use and when not in use. They took away and they look sweet. So that's the walk uh, around Rother Valley done. It's been an absolutely gorgeous day. Kyle is just chilling in the van, having a cup of coffee. No, a cup of tea. Uh, she's a tea drinker. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have, please hit that like, subscribe and notification icon. And uh, you'll get messages on when we do more content. So still fairly new to this. Uh, and like I said before, uh, massive thanks to Colin at Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures because he's actually critiquing me and giving me feedback on my videos and stuff to help me along my vlogging journey, which is awesome. Uh, and, you know, any experience and any advice, uh, I will obviously welcome on board without a shadow of a doubt. So massive thanks to Cole for that. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe and that notification icon. Until next time, see you in a bit. Ta-da.